Hey folks, welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at question 880, a decoded string at index. The, the approach that we'll be taking for this solution is we'll calculate the entire length of the string once it's decoded, and then we'll work backwards from there. And the entire basis uh, of the solution is uh, we'll be focused on the modulus. So for example, if we have this example right here, if the string S is, as, is lead four and K is equal to nine, if you use modulus, so nine modulus four, is uh, one so you'd be returning l um, so using this concept we'll be uh, formulating our entire solution so let's just jump into the solution right now the first thing we'll do as i said is calculate the the length and the reason why we'll be using long is because if you look at this example right here um, i think it's pretty long right um, so we want to make sure uh, we are covering all the base cases um, so we'll just assign that as long and we will have a for loop um, what are the other things we need? So we need also the size. So s dot length, and then in the for loop we have we iterate over the entire thing. Um, i is less than n i plus. Uh, and what you do is uh, calculate this the length. So it is if let's calculate. Let's get the character first. The character. C is equal to s dot um, s dot character at um, i. So if um, character dot is digit, uh, if it is digit uh, c, if c is a digit, you would just multiply the current size with that. So size mm, multiplied by so c minus zero because uh, you need to get the integer value of um, the character so you're subtracting zero thereby uh, doing this else you would just increment the size value. all right so at this point we have the entire length of the string of the decoded string once you record it so next thing that you will do is you want to work backwards so for in i is equal to n minus one you're starting from the end and then you want to go all the way to zero and then you subtract and the first thing you do is that you get the summation no, summation by size right and you will check so if k is equal to zero and um oh you, we also need to get the character result so character um, c is equal to s dot character at i again so if k is equal to zero and um, s no the character that we actually got at i if it is not a digit uh is letter you would return you know that we have got we have received the answer and you would just return it as is so you would just convert that to string so to string and you would just return it if it is not there are two things that you need to do um so if character um uh, char character dot is digit uh you're checking if it is a digit c then what you would do is you would just divide it so size is divided by uh, c minus zero else you would subtract it by one uh, character cool and then if none of these conditions are hit you would just return no so let's walk over this right so what exactly is happening here so <clears throat> for anti is equal to your uh, n minus one you're working your way from the back and you're checking hey like listen have we actually reached zero um the modulus of a zero if it is zero you would just return the character that we have right then and there or if we haven't received it yet you're looking at the digit that you're looking at right now so if if you receive the digit you want to divide the size by that particular digit because we know that the modulus would be repeated within that length if it's not a digit you just subtract it by one because it's just one letter 
I hope that makes sense. Uh, let's quickly run this and see if everything is okay. All right, so the first case is okay. We'll just submit this to see if, um, all right, cool. So uh, that's how you solve the solution. The time complexity for this is O of n, where n is the size of uh, the string itself, and space complexity is O of 1 because we're not really storing um, anything. I hope that made sense. Uh, the solution, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, if there are any uh, questions that you want to solve on LeetCode, please leave a comment below as well. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.